All right, 8.1, find angle measures in polygons. I think most of you guys already know what a diagonal is. A diagonal of a polygon is a segment that joins two non-consecutive vertices. Remember, consecutive means they're right next to each other. Non-consecutive means the vertices are not right next to each other, okay? So, for example, in this quadrilateral, this would be a diagonal, okay? In this pentagon, this would be a diagonal. All right, because this, vert this vertex and this vertex are non-consecutive. All right, theorem 8.1, polygon interior angles. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex, note that this is only for convex n-gons, is n minus 2 times 180. So if you were to add up all the angles inside any polygon, the sum would be the number of sides minus 2 times 180. And we'll do an example of that in a sec. All right. A corollary, the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a quadrilateral. Remember, quadrilateral has four sides. is 360. Any quadrilateral, if you add up all four angles, you get 360 degrees. All right, so for example, find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex hexagon. Okay, now remember, a hexagon has six sides, so we're going to use the polygon interior angles theorem, n minus 2 times 180. In this case, our n is 6. 6 minus 2 times 180. I plugged in 6 for n because it has six sides. 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 times 180. 720. So the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a hexagon is 720 degrees. All right, let's go on to page two. Okay, the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex polygon is 1260 degrees. Classify the polygon by the number of sides. All right, so now we have to work backwards. Use the polygon interior angle theorem to write an equation involving the number of sides n, then solve the equation to find the number of sides. So we know our, our equation is n minus 2 times 180. But in this case, we don't know what n is. We need to solve for n. But we know that whatever n equals, we're going to end up with 1260 degrees. Okay? I'm going to divide both sides by 180. So if you divide this side by 180, this side by 180, you get n minus 2 equals, let's pull out the calculator. Um, ah, wrong way. 1260 divided by 180, 7. Okay, now I'm going to add 2 to each side n equals 9. So the polygon has 9 sides. And if you remember, a 9-sided figure is called a nonagon. All right? Okay. Example 3. Find the value of x in the diagram shown. The polygon is a quadrilateral. Use the corollary of to the polygon interior angles theorem to write an equation involving x. Okay, so if you guys remember, we just learned that a quadrilateral all the angles are going to add up to 360. Now, if you were to plug in n minus 2 times 180, if n is 4, 2 times 180 is 360, you would get the same thing. This is just kind of a shortcut. If you just remember any quadrilateral, they add up to 360, you're good. So, if I add up all four of these angles, I'm going to get 360. So, x degrees plus 71 degrees, plus 135 degrees, plus 112 degrees, equals 360. Now I just need to solve for x. If I add all three of these together, let's see here, 135, 112, 71, and that would be 8, 11, 318. So x plus 318 equals 360. I'm going to subtract 318 from both sides. 360 minus 318, need to borrow, 42. So x equals 42, in this case, 42 degrees. 
All right, I'll let you guys do the checkpoint. Let's go on to page three. Uh, I'll let you guys do these two checkpoints also. Okay, theorem 8.2. Polygon exterior angles theorem. The sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex, convex, note that, it, it doesn't work for concave polygons. Convex polygon, one angle at each vertex is 360 degrees. This is actually a, I think, a much easier theorem to use than the other one because no matter how many sides a polygon has, they're all the exterior angles are going to add up to 360 degrees. With the interior angles, you're going to get a different sum depending on how many sides the polygon has. But the exterior angles, always 360. Okay, so for example, find the value of x in the diagram shown. These are all exterior angles. So if I add them all together, I'm going to get 360. So x degrees plus 89 degrees plus 2x plus 85, you, you could put degrees or you don't really have to. All of this will add up to 360. Let's combine like terms. x plus 2x gives me 3x. 89 plus 85, 174, and now I'm going to say, Now I'm going to subtract. One eighty six. They actually kind of skipped a step in here. You have three x equals one eighty six. Divide both sides by three. Three goes into eighteen six times. Goes into six twice. So x equals sixty two. All right, let's go on to the last page. The base of a lamp is in the shape of a regular 15 gon. A 15 gon has 15 sides. Find A, the measure of each interior angle, and B, the measure of each exterior angle. Okay, so two things we have to note right at the beginning. First of all, a 15 gon has 15 sides. Secondly, a regular polygon, hopefully you guys remember, a regular polygon, is equilateral and equiangular. It's very important because you're going to see that uh, that word regular a lot in these problems, okay? That means all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. Okay, so all 15 angles are congruent. Use the, uh, the polygon interior angle sam to find the sum of the measures of the interior angles. Okay, so we know there are our equation, n minus 2 times 180. In this case, n is 15. 15 minus 2 times 180. Uh, I'm going to use a calculator for this. 15 minus 2 is 13. 13 times 180. Oop, here we go. Uh, 2340. Okay. Then find the measure of one interior angle. A regular 15 gone has 15 congruent interior angles. Divide 2340 by 15. So 2340 divided by 15. Let's pull out that calculator again. 156. Okay, so there are 15 angles. Each angle is 156 degrees. So the measure of each interior angle in the 15 gone is 156. All right. By the polygon exterior angles theorem, the sum of the measures of the exterior angles, one angle at each vertex, is 360. We don't have to plug it into any equation. It's automatically 360 degrees. So we're going to divide 360 by 15. 360 divided by 15, let's see here. Twenty-four. So the measure of each exterior angle in the 15 gon is 24 degrees. All right, I'll let you guys do the checkpoint, and that's all.